Jaysa, just she works hard day, day in and day out. Um, great leader on and off the court. My name is Jason Nunn. I'm a senior and I'm from Kirkland, Washington. Uh, my degree is in organizational communications and I have a business minor. What I plan on doing after I graduate, I'm planning on going overseas to play some more basketball. I feel like my favorite moment just in general would be the Marquette game uh, my junior year. It was the craziest atmosphere I've ever been a part of and especially that last shot that I somehow made and the crowd going wild, like it was the best experience I've ever been a part of. As a freshman, you know, everybody comes in as a freshman not knowing what to do. This is all brand new, like I'm away from home. I flew all the way here from Washington. I was uncomfortable at first, but then getting into the rhythm of things, you know, having a season, having friends, starting to make like make memories and stuff. The best. The fans are loud and crazy, and it's definitely a challenge when other teams try and play there. We definitely have a home a home court advantage. I didn't start out with the coaching staff because I uh, um, got recruited by another coach, but I'm lucky to have the current coaching staff now because without them I wouldn't be the basketball player and the woman that I am today. They've helped me through so much. Well, I'm an only child, so my parents helped me through a lot. If I was going through tough times, I'd call my mom, my dad, and i also call uh, some of my friends and they would help me through the process. They talk to me like, yeah, Jason, you're upset, but just think about it. Think about it in the long run. Like, your future self is gonna be thankful for what's happening now. And I always go to them for advice and they're basically here every two weeks. So they love coming to the games and they are my biggest supporters and I love them to death. Uh, it means everything. Uh, I've been here for four years. I didn't really know what it meant at first being a Lobo, but now it's just, it's being a part of a family. And even after I graduate, I know that I still have my Lobo family, whether or not we're 10 miles apart or if we're a thousand miles apart, we still have that family. I like to thank uh, Dre, our athletic trainer. She has, I tell her every single day that she saved my life more than once. And she basically, is my rock in every single way. She helps me through tough times and she doesn't really get the recognition that she deserves and so I just wanted to thank her personally. Thank you for supporting me for all four years of my college career. We've been through some ups and downs but I thank you for your support.